Here's a quick tutorial showing you guys how to import custom drawings or images into Videoscribe. I'll also show you how you can customize some of Videoscribe's images and find copyright free images online at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around. Let's start with the two programs we'll use to create SVG files, which is the file type that Videoscribe uses. I personally use Adobe Illustrator, but if you want a free alternative, you can use Inkscape. Just remember this isn't a tutorial on how to use Illustrator or Inkscape, but rather how to convert the images into SVG files after you're finished creating the image. Let's go ahead and go into Illustrator and I'll show you what I mean. After you've completed your drawing, click Save As, and then in the Finder, you'll see an option that says SVG file. Select that option, and then you'll be brought to a settings window. You'll need to adjust a few settings in order to make sure that you don't end up with a black blob in Videoscribe. The two things that we should change are options, image location, we want to select embed. And then make sure you can see advanced options by clicking more options. And then you should see something called CSS properties. And we want that to be presentation attributes. And that is pretty much it in order to make sure that nothing weird happens to your image. I'll also link a video scribe forum describing other issues and the solutions to them in the description below, just in case. So after that, all you need to do is hit OK, and then go into Videoscribe, and you'll be able to import the SVG file, and voila, it will now draw your custom image in the same layer sequence that you created it. It's as simple as that. The next option for people without Illustrator is to use Inkscape. It's a similar process after you've finished your drawing, you just export the image and it's automatically an SVG file. Very simple and quick for this one. Moving on to the extra part of this tutorial. Let's say you want to import something a bit more hand-drawn. If you have a drawing pad, or in my case, an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, you can draw your image in the Adobe Draw app and then import it into Illustrator. Now, for some odd reason, it doesn't quite work when you try to export it after saving it and opening it the first time through the app. But a quick workaround is to copy everything into a new file and then save and export there. Hopefully they fix the issue in the future. Just remember that Videoscribe will pick up every single stroke that you made throughout your drawing. Okay, now let's move on to customizing images in Videoscribe. Let's say you found an image that you liked in Videoscribe's library, but it didn't quite have the right hair color. What you can do is right click on the image and then click export image. After you've exported it, open your editor of choice, in my case it's Illustrator, and then from there, you can edit it all you want, and then export the new image. Just remember to match the settings mentioned earlier in the video, otherwise you will end up with a black silhouette of the image. Another reason you might want to do this is, say you want to use a lot of images in succession, like footprints leading somewhere. It's kind of very tedious to repeatedly have 5 to 10 different images loaded on the timeline of Videoscribe. One way to simplify this is to quickly export it, and then make a lot of copies of it in Illustrator, and then re-import. Now you have yourself a new image that you can use to represent a lot of footsteps from now on. Lastly, let me show you where I go whenever I want to find an image that Videoscribe's library doesn't have. It's completely copyright free, and the process is very quick head to pixabay.com and go to vector illustrations. From there, you can find a massive library of vector images that you can use for your projects. There are also other places where you can buy vector images to use. I'm actually gonna have a shop on my website as well. If you can't seem to find the image that you really, really want to show in your video and you don't know how to create it or don't have time to create it, feel free to commission me at scott at and I'll see what I can do for you. That's it from this quick tutorial. Good luck with your projects and have a nice day.